This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus dry docks, and you're watching Fast Attack. Sealing shafts, linkages, wires. So today what we're going to be talking about is poking holes in your watertight compartments and sealing the things that come out of them. This could be your drive shaft, this could be your servo linkages, and this could be various wires. This is a quick and dirty way of doing it, works really good. So in this particular case, we're going to be wanting to have this 1 8 stainless steel drive shaft coming out of this mocked up uh, wall of our watertight cylinder. What you're going to need is uh, a bushing that will go around the outside and you want it to be a fairly tight tolerance fit. So in this particular case, this is a 5 30 second sleeve on a 1 8 shaft. If this is going to be a shaft, a linkage, or anything that moves, you absolutely need to make sure that there is zero friction in that part. We're going to take our bushing and we're going to insert it into our bulkhead. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of silicone tube that is just tight on what we're trying to seal. So you can see I can, I can push that in, but it's kind of tight. I'm going to want a piece uh, as large as the piece that's sticking out plus about a quarter of an inch. Now what we're gonna do is insert that over our shaft, insert it, and now we're gonna slip that silicone tube over that sleeve. I'm actually gonna uh, put a few drops of silicone oil on here as lubrication because this piece is moving. Now if this was a wire or something like that, you would not need to make this step. The oil just makes it a little easier to slip it on and off. This moves exceptionally freely. As a final step, we're going to use a uh, zip tie and we're going to tighten it around the base of that little bushing right there. And this is what you're left with. And again, this would be what you would use for linkages or a drive shaft. If this was a wire or something that is going to stay stationary, you would put another zip tie over the outside piece to keep tension on that as well. So there you go, quick and easy seals that uh, cost mere pennies that work really well in your RC submarine. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been Bob Martin and you just watched Fast Attack.